Title 42 is a federal health measure that was enforced by the U.S. Border Patrol since March 2020. It allowed the agency to quickly expel many migrants caught crossing the border back to Mexico, including asylum seekers who have the legal right to make an asylum claim in America. The policy was implemented by former President Donald Trump as a way to curb the spread of the coronavirus in crowded detention settings. But it was also criticized by some public health experts, Democrats, and advocates as a pretext to restrict legal and illegal immigration. President Joe Biden, who took office in 2021 with a promise to reverse Trump's restrictive approach, kept Title 42 in place and expanded it as his administration faced record migrant arrests at the U.S.-Mexico border. However, he announced that he would lift Title 42 on May 11, 2023, when the U.S. COVID public health emergency ended. At the same time, he introduced a new regulation that could deny asylum to almost all illegal border crossers. The new regulation bars anyone who has passed through another country without seeking refuge there first or who has failed to access legal pathways to enter the United States. The end of Title 42 and the start of the new asylum rule have had significant impacts on the lives of migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border. On one hand, some migrants have welcomed the opportunity to pursue their immigration claims in court under the standard immigration processing known as Title 8, which was suspended under Title 42. On the other hand, many migrants have faced being barred from entering the U.S. for five years or being physically prevented from crossing the border by U.S. authorities. In the hours before the new regulations went into effect, thousands of migrants rushed to cross into the U.S., hoping to be processed before the deadline. Some waded through rivers, climbed walls, and scrambled up embankments, risking their lives and carrying their belongings and children with them. They faced razor wire, soldiers, and border agents who shouted for them to turn back or refused to let them in. Some migrants said they were confused about the changes and did not know what their chances of claiming asylum were. Meanwhile, some U.S. cities along the southern border reported receiving fewer than expected migrant arrivals since Title 42 was lifted. They attributed this to increased enforcement by Mexican authorities, who have been cracking down on migrant caravans and camps in recent months. Some local officials and humanitarian groups said they were prepared to handle any surge of migrants and provide them with shelter, food, medical care, and legal assistance. The situation at the U.S.-Mexico border remains fluid and uncertain as migrants continue to seek safety and opportunity in America while facing new challenges and obstacles. The Biden administration has said that it is working with international partners and organizations to inform migrants about legal pathways to enter the U.S. and to address the root causes of migration in their home countries. However, Critics have accused Biden of ignoring the border crisis and creating incentives for illegal immigration. The fate of thousands of asylum seekers at the border depends on how the U.S. government balances its humanitarian obligations with its national security interests. Title 42 was a federal health measure that allowed the U.S. Border Patrol to quickly expel many migrants caught crossing the border back to Mexico, including asylum seekers. It was implemented by the Trump administration in March 2020 and kept in place by the Biden administration until May 2023. On May 12, 2023, Title 42 expired and was replaced by a new asylum regulation that bars anyone who has passed through another country without seeking refuge there first or who has failed to access legal pathways to enter the United States. This means that most migrants who cross the border illegally will not qualify for asylum and will face being barred from entering the U.S. for five years. The new rules make it harder for migrants to claim asylum because they require them to prove that they have exhausted all other options before reaching the U.S. border. They also discourage migrants from making multiple attempts to cross the border, as each attempt could result in a longer ban. The new rules also favor migrants who have relatives or sponsors in the U.S., who can apply for visas or other legal pathways to enter the country. The Biden administration has said that the new rules are necessary to manage the border crisis and prevent the spread of COVID-19. However, critics have argued that the new rules violate international law and human rights, and that they will expose migrants to more danger and violence in Mexico and other countries. 
They have also questioned the effectiveness of the new rules, as many migrants are desperate to flee poverty, violence and persecution in their home countries and may not be deterred by the threat of a ban. The new rules have also created confusion and chaos at the border, as thousands of migrants rushed to cross before they went into effect. Some migrants were turned back by U.S. authorities, while others were allowed into the U.S. to pursue their immigration claims in court. Some migrants have also been stranded in Mexico, waiting for their cases to be processed or for humanitarian exceptions to be granted. The situation at the border remains tense and uncertain, as migrants, advocates and officials try to navigate the new system. The new rules that replace Title 42 have significant humanitarian and legal implications for the migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border. Title 42 was a federal health measure that allowed border agents to quickly expel many migrants back to Mexico, including asylum seekers who have the legal right to make a claim in the U.S. The new rules, which went into effect on May 12, 2023, bar anyone who has passed through another country without seeking refuge there first or who has failed to access legal pathways to enter the U.S. This means that most migrants who cross the border illegally will be presumed ineligible for asylum and face removal. The new rules have a devastating impact on the lives of migrants who are fleeing violence, persecution, poverty and climate change in their home countries. Many of them have no legal options to enter the U.S. or seek protection in other countries along the way. Some of them have been waiting for months or years in Mexico under the Migrant Protection Protocols MPP, program, also known as Remain in Mexico, which forced asylum seekers to wait in dangerous conditions for their court hearings in the U.S. The Biden administration had promised to end MPP and process the backlog of cases, but the new rules have dashed their hopes of finding safety and dignity in the U.S. The new rules also violate international law and human rights standards, according to experts and advocates. The 1951 Refugee Convention and its 1967 Protocol, which the U.S. has ratified, oblige states to respect the principle of non-refoulement, which means not returning refugees to a place where their life or freedom would be threatened. The Convention also states that refugees should not be penalized for their illegal entry or presence, as long as they present themselves to the authorities and show good cause for their irregular movement. The new rules ignore these obligations and effectively deny asylum to most migrants at the border. The new rules also create more chaos and confusion at the border, as thousands of migrants rush to cross before they went into effect, hoping to avoid being barred from asylum for five years. Some of them risked their lives by crossing the Rio Grande River in high water, carrying children and belongings above their heads. Others faced hostility and violence from U.S. authorities who shouted at them to turn back and refused to let them enter. The new rules have also increased the pressure on border communities and humanitarian organizations that provide assistance and shelter to migrants in need. The new rules are part of a broader strategy by the Biden administration to deter illegal immigration and address the root causes of migration in Central America. The administration has also launched a new website. Movilidad Segura, or to inform migrants how to access legal pathways into the U.S. However, critics argue that these measures are insufficient and ineffective, as they do not address the urgent humanitarian crisis at the border or offer meaningful protection to those who need it most.